In this video, I'm going to attempt to take the Ryzen 3 3200G and put it on to the MSI B550 Pro VDH motherboard. It's a B550 chipset. So will the 3200G, which is a generation 2 processor from Ryzen, work with a B550 motherboard? People say it can't. So what I've done is I put the 3200G right there on the top. I'll just cover it temporarily with a fan for just a general quick heat sink because I want to just uh, keep it cool, obviously, but I'm just trying to see if it boots. Notice I have just one stick of RAM, uh, no graphics card, because it's we're using the graphics from the motherboard. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly boot this up. And let's see if we get anything on the screen. I just wanna see if it'll boot. So right now the LED is on CPU. Let's see if it goes away from that. It blinks for a second. I'm gonna let it cycle. Let's hope it does. It's trying. Come on, there it goes. It's on VGA now. Okay. Memory modules. Let me see if we need to fix this. Let me wait for it actually. Hey, we booted up. See, I'm telling you, B550 motherboard, at least this one, the MSI B550 and Pro VDH Wi Fi. They found it. Ryzen 3 3200G. Okay, I only have one stick of RAM. I'll go ahead and go into the BIOS. Here we are B550M Pro VDH, Ryzen 3 3200G. It's using a July BIOS, and we're in. So I just wanted to show you that, that this is possible. Um, I haven't built a full system on this yet, but I have seen it done by uh, Mike's unboxing is somebody I've seen it do, but it is definitely working. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this guy off and uh, put another build together that I wanted to do, but I had this chip on hand and the motherboard on hand, so I wanted to try it out. Feel free to talk in the comments about what your experience is, if you guys have done this before, but I wanted to show you that this is possible.